is an island that we just started. This is literally maybe three months old. Um, three months ago, this was all cane and uh, a banana called jute. Jute is a banana that they used to grow for fiber. You couldn't even walk in here. And now it's completely cultivated. These are okras just planted. Jamaica. This is melon, which we don't really grow here, but we're trying. We just put in this passion fruit, which will run on these lines. The squash is really starting to come on. Look at this nice fatty, just starting. We make a nice big hole and fill it with rich compost and then plant something. Rather than try to get this whole thing all fertile, we just get the spot where we're planting. Just the other day, I had to really look. Now, everywhere I look, there's small squashes coming up. You know, and you always need your snacks everywhere. And then we just put in this little pond. Look at this all cute little heart-shaped pond. In really dry times, we can just take a bucket and water from here so we don't have to walk all the way to where the water tap is or we don't have to go to another chinampa. We can get our water right here. And these hyacinths, this uh, purple flower, they I think maybe we put, what, like a handful in there when we started? And they just prop, they just replicate so fast. And then we, once they get really full and tight in there, we can just throw them on the edges. And in the dry time, it's good to have them because they maintain the water, they shade it. And I just went out and started getting cuttings and started getting different things and now, it's totally productive. This squash will be pumping now for a couple months, but then we'll start the next generation there, and then the next generation there. And that's all yard long bean and wing bean over there. We're growing our picadillo. So there's a few vegetables that we're real excited about right now. One's yard long bean. Look, here you got two different kinds, light green, dark green. Um, we have a red one called red noodle. Pretty much every day you can come out here and get young wing beans like this. And even raw, they're so delicious and so nutritious. And the wing bean, you can eat the root, you can eat the leaves, you can eat the flowers, the young pods like this. Mm. After being here so long, we're trying to really figure out what grows pretty easy that we don't have to work so hard to, to fill our picadillo. Because that's basically what we eat every day is coconut milk or some kind of stew of vegetables, yard long beans and okra and wing beans and different greens. This is jamaica, which the leaves, we eat the greens, and when it flowers, we take the calyx of the flower and we make awesome juice. These beds are just diversified. Right now, they're just getting planted with mustard and okra. That's acai palm right there. There's papaya coming on here. Thai basil. Panama pepper. See, it's all just together. This is chana medicinal. It's just about to flower. That's naranjia back there, tomato eggplant relative. Here we have ginger and cranberry hibiscus, another delicious green. This was just empty before. Uh, it was an overgrown tree basil and just randomness. So what we're trying to do here is eradicate the randomness. We're gonna have three mounds here with white yam. And little by little things start coming in. Look at this. Look at the abundance of limes. These are mandarin limes. So good. And the tree's dripping. And you know, little by little we start organizing the areas and get better bridges. Like right now we just have logs across. Gotta be really careful. Ylang, ylang. Uh, we're keeping it all dwarf right here in front of the chicken coop because sometimes the chickens stink. And the ylang ylang's right here. Every afternoon while we're working in this area, just waves of ylang ylang, which is uh, the main ingredient in Chanel number no. five. This is chaya, one of our main um, steamed greens. Sweet peppers, this is yam. This is some mangosteen relative and it just flowered. And then now this is all starting to get sculpted. Here you see you have another pond. Mm. I wish I could transmit the taste to you right now. It tastes like mushroomy, seaweedy, something magic. Laroca from El Salvador. They put them in pupusas. This was an area that was totally unused. It was all swamp. You couldn't even walk back here. And what we started doing is digging these ponds. And with all the soil, these are deep ponds. I mean, if I could go probably almost all over my head here, all of the dirt that was here, Little by little got spread around here and molded into little gardens and, and edges and fruit trees. Um, where before it was all kind of swampy and useless, now these lower areas hold water and we have fish in here, tilapia and native fish and turtles and caimans and eels, these crazy little eels. We have several different kinds of water lilies and we have lotus, uh, Vietnamese cilantro growing there on the edge. Just now fruit trees and bananas. This was a whole area that was unused, but with all this soil that made these islands, we basically created these islands and we're planting them. <laughs> 